guys been requesting this so much. Literally every time I open up social media or YouTube, all of my comments have been to do a room tour. So I'm finally doing that today. If you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified. And since I don't want to make this intro too long, because I know you guys have been waiting so patiently, let's just get right into the video. So starting from outside of my door, I have a fun little announcement. So I opened up an Etsy shop and basically I made some fun prints for my room. And after I was making them, I thought you guys might be interested in having them in your room too. So I am going to be selling these on my Etsy shop, which I'll have linked down below. It's just going to be called Sweet Emmeline's. Um, and I'm only going to sell them for like a dollar or two. Just something really inexpensive and you guys can just print these out at your house or at Staples. And I think it's just a really fun touch. Um, I want to get a picture frame for this so that it looks more official but I didn't have enough time and you guys have been requesting this video so much so I just wanted to get it up so I just kind of stuck it to my door for now but today I'm gonna go and try to find a cute little frame for this so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little overview of my bedroom first and then um, I will go into each detail so we'll just start over here this is actually a super new addition to my room. My mom just got this for me yesterday. She saw it and she thought it'd be really cute. Before I just had a mirror there, so I have this here. It kind of reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast, kind of, just because like the roses and stuff. Not the colors, but um, I just think it's really cute. So the table is vintage, um, and then I have this vintage mirror, which I kind of just have down as a little tray. And then I have an old milk glass pitcher. And then I just have some dried roses. So that is this little corner of my bedroom. Then we move over here. So down here I have an old fashioned tin. Um, and then on top of it I have this adorable little Disney teacup teapot kind of thing. It's super cute. My mom and dad got it for me for Easter. So up here, this is my Disney wall. Um, I've been going back and forth with this. I keep changing because I don't know if I like it or not. Um, but I'll give you guys an overview. So these things right here, that one, and then that one, um, they are little like seeds and I think they're so cute. And then I have a Disney record. I have this picture of me when I was little at Disney with my Disney glasses on. This is from one of my Disney trips. Um, this is the Disney dollar. I don't know if they still have those, but they're pretty cool. The other side is Cinderella's castle. And then I have my balloon from Disney World. Obviously it shrunk down, but I just thought it was really cute. And then this picture right here, and this one right here is actually from this um, Disney puzzle that is super, super old and I love it. Um, right here in the corner of my room, I kind of just have some extra Disney things I'm trying to figure out what to do with. These things were actually all on my wall, but um, I took them down. And this is a Disney autograph book from the first time I went to Disney, and I have like tons of pictures of me when I was little at Disney. They're super, super cute. So there's me with the castle. Um, and that was me trying to write out my name, Emmeline. <laughs> so this little table here, I got this from Walmart, surprisingly. It kind of looks retro, vintage, mid-century modern. That's why I got it. And here I put all of my teacups. You guys probably remember I used to have a big tea cabinet, but um, I decided to take that out of my room and just try something different. This is a vintage, um, not a doily, like a little table runner kind of thing. And then here I have my Disney calendar. I have this antique um, candy holder. Here I have Cinderella. This was on one of my birthday cakes when I was younger. These are some vintage noise makers. You blow into them like little horns. I have my Zoom Zooms. I have this cute box from Target. And my favorite purse, I will put the link down below for this. And I'll try to put the link down below for as many things as I can in my room. But this purse is literally my absolute favorite thing in the whole world. It's so, so cute. So then we come over to this corner of my room. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you might remember this piece. It used to be a shabby chic green color and I just sanded it down and painted it white and I love it so much now. So right here I have this little, it's, I hate saying the word vintage like a hundred times, but there's no other way to describe everything. So I'm gonna say vintage like a thousand times in this video. 
but this is a little vintage um, trash can. It was my grandma's. Um, and then here I have a Minnie Mouse doll that my parents got me. She's so cute. So um, on top of the dresser, I have, once again, sorry, it's vintage, um, a little um, picnic basket and it's so cute and so fun. I definitely want to have a picnic soon with it. And here I have a Cinderella book and then underneath it I have a ton of these old Disney books. They're super cute. They range from the 50s to um, I think around the 80s, possibly 90s. So I just like to have these on display. And then this was my grandma's when she had first had her house. And I just think it's so gorgeous. And then this is just my mirror. Now moving on to this corner of my room. Right here, I have some more of these designs that I made. I'm super excited. So this is one that's gonna be on my Etsy shop. It says Dream Big, and I just feel like it's so like Disney-ish and really fun and bright and colorful. And then I made some other ones to that kind of remind me of movies. So this one reminded me of The Little Mermaid. So I made a shell. And right now I'm gonna put in some of the other pictures that I made. And also I wanted to say that if you guys do get these, you guys can add some Disney quotes onto them. I wanted to originally sell them with the quotes on them, but I can't do that since I obviously don't own the right to the quotes and I don't want to get in trouble. I'm going to put in right here some more clips of the picture so you guys can see what will be on the shop. So this one is the Little Mermaid one and like I said I can't sell them with the quotes on them. But I just put the quote on this one so you guys can see what it looks like and when you guys get it you guys can add any little quote you want to it. This is the next one. This one is a Snow White one. And on mine, I put Magic Mirror on the wall, who now is the fairest one of all. And last but not least, these are the Snow White ones again. Um, so they just did an apple, Snow White, apple. <laughs> and then on the other one, I put Someday My Prince Will Come. And I wanted to do a Cinderella one because she's my favorite, but I just haven't had the time to do it. So if I do a Cinderella one, I will put it on Instagram or Snapchat so I can let you guys know. So here I have this pole, like a clothing pole thing, I don't know what to call it. I just have a couple of like vintage nightgowns on it, some Victoria's Secret ones. Um, I got it from Hobby Lobby. Then down here I have this plant. I literally have had it for about three years. I don't know how it's still alive, but um, I still have it. And then here I have a scale. It's a vintage scale. I love this thing so much. This is one of my favorite little sections of my room. It's so cute and so bright and I just love it so much. So you guys have probably seen this old fashioned clock and radio before. Then I have just a little vintage hat and then I put some handkerchiefs on here just to kind of add some color. Um, this is one of my angels from my angel collection. And this is the April Angel. So if you guys want an angel collection, then let me know in the comments. And here is a Snow White book. It is such a beautiful book. I have to open it up for you guys because it's so gorgeous. Look how pretty all of the pictures are. It's just like, oh, I love it so much. <laughs> and then here I have a salt and pepper shaker that Gabby got me. Then down here, I have my Chanel perfume. I have another April Angel. I have the Audrey Hepburn book, How to Be Lovely. I have another handkerchief. And then here I just have some more little Disney trinkets. And then I just have another angel in the back. Okay, so here is probably one of my favorite parts of my room. I mean, I like all my room, but I love this part so much and you guys have been so curious about this. So on my wall, I have this wall tapestry that says Have Courage and Be Kind from Cinderella. And then I just have these lights on it. And the wall tapestry I got from Society6. Um, I'll try to link it down below. I'll try to link it as much as I can, like I said before, down below. So my bedspread right now is super wrinkly because I just took it out of the wash. So it's just kind of de-wrinkling. But my, all my bedding is from Target. So now moving on to the pillows. The ones in the back are for your hair and skin. I got those ones from Amazon. And this pillow has Sleeping Beauty's Castle. It is so cute. This I showed you guys in my last haul. It's Minnie Mouse. I got it from the Disney store. And then this pillow is Disneyland, um, the Ferris wheel. So both of those pillows I also got from Society6. Like I said, they have such cute things and their prices are really good. And then 
Over here is my little nightstand. So my nightstand is actually a vintage hamper and it matches the scale that I showed you guys before. Right here I have a vintage phone and then I have this little old fashioned um, container. I've literally had this since I was little and I love it so much. Um, here I have a Disney pin. I can try to link that Etsy shop down below. I love all of her stuff. It's so, so cute. And then I just have this, which I spray in my room. It smells amazing. And then this lamp was actually my mom's when she was younger in the 50s, 60s-ish. And I love it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys do get any of the printables from my Etsy shop, then be sure to tag me in a picture so I can see your adorable rooms. And I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!